blocks are heading toward that upside-down alluvian. Creepy. Helpful, but creepy. Can we trust this magic? It's a place of learning. Maybe this Veer Dathara is helping us find what we need. Now it's even weirder. Inquisitor, we must look at your hand. The pain stopped. The magic here wakes it. Familiar, strong, ripping apart again, all again. Stairs. Let's see if we can reach the inverted alluvian now. They're the librarians. Hello. Ah! 
Siram Viramalas, Chivera Milava. Survivor of the Breach, Herald of Change, Hero of the South. The Vidasala, I presume. After fulfilling your purpose at the Breach, it is astonishing to hear you still walked free among your people. Your duty is done, Inquisitor. It is time to end your magic. It's not too late to put our weapons down and talk. There's no need to pretend that you're blind to what you've begun. I am no stranger to catastrophe, but this chaos in the South defies comprehension. The Kuhn left your people to curb your own magic. You've amply proven we should have stepped in long ago. Is that what Dragon's Breath is for? Murdering our heads of state just to control our magic? Do you believe closing the breach solved everything? That its consequences stop there. The day we saw the breach, the Kuhn decided its action. We would remove your leaders and spare those who toil. This agent of Fenharel has disrupted everything. Lives that were to be spared, lost for him. Who is this agent? Why would you think they work for the Inquisition? Kill the Inquisitor, then follow me to the Darvarad. <laughs> Fight me! 
These are Vidasala's papers. She brought mages here to research strengthening the veil. A way to clamp down magic? No wonder she's here. It explains why the Kunari thought it was worth camping here. Demons, dragons, and even dark spawn. Now Kunari. I wonder if we will ever run out of things to fight. Now I'm thinking about dragons, and I'm even more depressed about being here. The dragons were amazing, weren't they? Mm, they really were. I never understood my homeland's fascination with dragons until the Inquisition. I suppose I am the vi Visitors, patrons, welcome. The halls are open. Can you tell me where a Kunari called the Vidasala went? Yes, we heard much. Although she fooled herself into thinking we could not hear. Take a keystone to the Davarat. I will join you there soon and take stock of our remaining Gatlock powder. I found a keystone with one of the Kunari. Yes, and you need words for their key. Maras Nira. It glows. It will open the way to the Davarat. May you find what you seek. In coming here, you strengthen the paths. I can now raise one, if you wish to go. You've been very helpful. Gil uh -huh. de was what the Elven called me. One who guides seekers of knowledge true. I was connection. One city could read the records of another. One Elven feel the memories of another. When the veil fell upon us, I marked the end of all they knew. We've got to find this Davarad and corner Vidasala there. Your agents confirm there are Gatlock battles in Denerin's palace? Yes, and in Valroyo and across the Free Marches. The Winter Palace is not the only target. The Canari are one order from destroying every noble house in the known world. Oh, there is a bright side. Warning the ambassadors will remind them of the Inquisition's value. Not when the Inquisition is responsible for that threat. I take it you have new information. The elven servant handling the barrels has disappeared. Notes in his quarters suggest he was a Canary spy. But the servant was Orlesian. That implicates Orle, not us. But the barrels arrived at the Winter Palace on the Inquisition Supply Manifest. <sighs> How are we supposed to fight a war when we can't even trust our own people? Do you know who got the barrels onto the Inquisition Manifest? Yes, several of the Inquisition's elven workers have gone missing. I had their backgrounds checked. They joined the Inquisition after fleeing the chaos in Kirkwall. I remember when Kirkwall was at its worst. Many of the city's elves converted to the Kune, trying to find a better life. And the Canari turned them into spies. We can't change what happened. Only how we react to it now. 
I fought to protect the Inquisition in this exalted council. And for what? So we could deceive and threaten those we claimed to protect? Once we locate the spies... This isn't about the spies! You hid the Kunari body. You all but seized control of the Winter Palace. We did what was right, not what was politically convenient. Do you know what this has cost us with Orlais and Ferelden? They are planning to dismantle us as we speak. And perhaps they are right. Ah, oh, shit. Damn it. We save Ferelden and they're angry. We save Orlais and they're angry. We close the breach twice, and my own hand wants to kill me. Could one thing in this fucking world just stay fixed? <sighs> I need to get to the Davarad. You all can fight amongst yourselves once I'm... <sighs> once I'm back. Thank you, Inquisitor. Would you... Would you like us to inform the Exalted Council of the danger? Yes. If we fail, the Exalted Council needs to know what happened. I will inform them personally. Leliana, I can... No, your job is hard enough already. This is my responsibility. I'll have guards ready at the Alluvian, in case the Kunari attack the palace. Make her watch over you. I should look around. Leliana told us about what happened with your hand. There must be something we can do. Whatever happens, I wouldn't trade the years we've had together for anything. I love you. And I you. Always and forever, my love. Let us show all who would cross the Inquisition the price of their mistake. It's been an honor to kick asses beside you all. Anan. The Davarad. All right, everyone. Get ready. So, this is the Davarad. We seem to be in a dumping ground for broken Alluvians. Where did the Kunari get all these? How long have they been studying Alluvians? The sooner we stop this invasion plan, the better.
Are you all right? We should hurry. Why are the Kunari calling this plan Dragon's Breath? What do dragons have to do with assassinating heads of state? I don't understand any of this. Controlling guards. We need to deal with them as quickly as possible. Quite the door.
It's open. Let's go. Stay with us. Dragon's Breath is... an actual dragon. Tetha! Vaz! Inquisition! Nira Atasi Asara! Miravas Adim Gada! Hisrad, now! Please! The Nekatas! Not a chance, ma'am. Yeah! <laughs> 
No regrets at turning your back on your people, Iron Bull? The Iron Bull is just fine. When this is over, drinks are on me. Probably a lot of them. Fight the dragon or what? Her captors have already mutilated her. It seems needlessly cruel to kill her. We will not let you cut down the Atashi. Honor of the Inquisition, attacking an innocent creature. Dear Inquisitor, you have such little time left. You must finally see the truth. Elven magic already tore the sky apart. If the agents of Ben Harrell are not stopped, you will shatter the world as well. The Inquisition has nothing to do with these agents. Come, Inquisitor. I am the eyes and ears of the Canari people. Do you think you can deceive me? You would have died from the mark on your hand, but for the help of one of their chief agents. The same agent who helped seal the breach, who led you to Skyhold, who gave Corypheus the orb, then founded the Inquisition. 
Solus, agent of Fenharel. What? He used me. All along, that bastard was manipulating us. Solus tricked us all. He pushed a dying Canari into the Winter Palace to lure you into opposing us. Without him, we could have brought the South peace and wisdom along the gentle path. Now we must take the way of blades. <laughs> Panahaden, Inquisitor. If it is any consolation, Solus will not outlive you. Vidasala's not killing Solus. I'm killing Solus. Come on. Come on, the Vidasala can't be too far ahead. If it keeps up like this, it will kill you. Solus must help, as he did at Haven. Solus, the agent of Fen Harel. I suspected something was off with our unwashed apostate. Over there. That's got to be where Solus is. Ah!
that all you've got? I went through Saharan, you little shits! Like he's off the leash. Barabbas! 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 You will not leave here, Inquisitor. Antam! Ibrashok Adin! Move, boss!
Let us finish this. You are dead, Inquisitor. Your soul is dust.
ebesit kata et wa ost. Maras kata! Your forces have failed. Leave now and tell the Canari to trouble me no further. Solus. That should give us more time. I suspect you have questions. The Kunari believe you're an agent for someone who has taken the name Fen Harel. The Kunari reject myth and legend. If you told them of your meeting with Mithor, they would attribute it to a demon. I am no one's agent but my own. I fear that the truth is much simpler and much worse than the Kunari believe. You're Fen Harel. I was Solus first. Fen Harel came later. An insult I took as a badge of pride. The Dread Wolf inspired hope in my friends, and fear in my enemies. Not unlike Inquisitor, I suppose. You also know the burden of a title that all but replaces your name. Are you a fragment of what Fen Harel once was? Like Mithal? No. This is all I have ever been. And the legends? I sought to set my people free from slavery to would-be gods. I broke the chains of all who wished to join me. The false gods called me Fen Harel, and when they finally went too far, I formed the veil and banished them forever. Thus I freed the elven people, and in so doing, destroyed their world. You love the Fade. Why would you create the veil to hide it all away? Because every alternative was worse. Meaning? Had I not created the Veil, the Evanurus would have destroyed the entire world. You banished the false gods. You didn't kill them. You met Methol, did you not? The first of my people do not die so easily. The Evanurus are banished forever, paying the ultimate price for their misdeeds. You said that the Elven gods went too far. What did they do that made you move against them? They killed Mithal. <laughs> a crime for which an eternity of torment is the only fitting punishment. I thought Mithal was one of the Evanuris. She was the best of them. She cared for her people. She protected them. She was a voice of reason. And in their lust for power, they killed her. The Evanuris were elven mages. How did they come to be remembered as gods? Slowly. It started with a war. War breeds fear. Fear breeds a desire for simplicity. Good and evil, right and wrong, chains of command. After the war ended, generals became respected elders, then kings, and finally gods. The Evanuris. How did creating the Veil destroy the world? You saw the remains of Via Dathara. The library was intrinsically tied to the Fade, and the Veil destroyed it. There were countless other marvels, all dependent on the presence of the Fade. All destroyed. The elven legends of immortality. All true. It was not the arrival of humans that caused them to begin aging. It was me. The Veil took everything from the elves even themselves. That's the past. What about the future? I lay in dark and dreaming sleep while countless wars and ages passed. I woke still weak a year before I joined you. My people fell for what I did to strike the Evanuris down. But still, some hope remains for restoration. I will save the Elven people even if it means this world must die. 
Solus, whatever you want, this world dying is not the answer. Not a good answer, no. Sometimes terrible choices are all that remain. It is my fight. You should be more concerned about the Inquisition, your Inquisition. In stopping the Dragon's Breath, you have prevented an invasion by Canari forces. With luck, they will return their focus to Devinter. That should give you a few years of relative peace. The Canari said the Inquisition was unknowingly working for agents of Fen Harel. I gave no orders. You led us to Skyhold. Corypheia should have died unlocking my orb. When he survived, my plans were thrown into chaos. When you survived, I saw the Inquisition as the best hope this world had of stopping him. And you needed a home. Hence, Skyhold. You gave your orb to Corypheus? Not directly. My agents allowed the Venatori to locate it. The orb had built up magical energy while I lay unconscious for millennia. I was not powerful enough to open it. The plan was for Corypheus to unlock it, and for the resulting explosion to kill him. Then I would claim the orb. I did not foresee a Devinter Magister having learned the secret of effective immortality. What would have happened if Corypheus had died and you had recovered the orb? I would have entered the Fade using the mark you now bear. Then I would have torn down the veil. As this world burned in the raw chaos, I would have restored the world of my time. The world of the Elves. If you destroyed the veil, wouldn't the false gods be freed? I had plans. You'd murder countless people. Wouldn't you, to save your own? You must understand. I awoke in a world where the Veil had blocked most people's conscious connection to the Fade. It was like walking through a world of tranquil. We aren't even people to you. Not at first. You showed me that I was wrong. Again. That does not make what must come next any easier. You never cared about us. We were the means to an end. You were people, and you deserved better. Like all the rest I've used in one hopeless battle after another. What's wrong with the Inquisition? You created a powerful organization. And now it suffers the inevitable fate of such. Betrayal and corruption. It's not that simple. Do you know how I discovered the Canari plot? The plot I disrupted by leading them to your doorstep. The Canari spies in the Inquisition tripped over my spies in the Inquisition. The Elven Guard who led you to the Canari body? Who intercepted the servant with the Gatlock barrel? Mine. Why bother disrupting the Canari plot if you're going to destroy the world regardless? You have shown me that there is value in this world, Inquisitor. I take no joy in what I must do. Until that day comes, I would see those recovering from the breach free of the Kune. Why? Because I am not a monster. If they must die, I would rather they die in comfort. In any event, it is done. So you let us do your dirty work? The mistake was yours to fix, Inquisitor. You control the Alluvians now? Yes. You remember Briala from Halam Shiral? For a time, she controlled part of the labyrinth. One of my agents was supposed to take it from her, but he did not succeed. I had to override the magic personally. The Canari stumbled upon this section independently. With them gone, the Alluvians are now mine. There's still the matter of the Anchor. It's getting worse. Yes. I'm sorry. And we are almost out of time. The Mark will eventually kill you. Drawing you here gave me the chance to save you. At least for now. You don't need to destroy this world. I'll prove it to you. I would treasure the chance to be wrong once again, my friend. Take my hand. I'm sorry. 
Live well, while time remains. something must be done, but we cannot lose the Inquisition now. We stand on the brink of war with the Canari. Yes, because this Solas provoked them in the first place. The Inquisition did not cause this threat. We informed the summit of the danger. The danger posed by Canari spies inside your organization. Without our organization, you would not be alive to complain. <sighs> no one has forgotten what you have done. But Corypheus is two years dead. If the Inquisition is to continue, it must do so as a legitimate organization, not a glorified mercenary band. Inquisitor. You all know what this is. A writ from Divine Justinia authorizing the formation of the Inquisition. We pledge to close the breach, find those responsible, and restore order, with or without anyone's approval. The Inquisition saved the people of Ferelden when you couldn't. We are not disbanding. And we are certainly not submitting to an empress who only sits on her throne because we kept her there. There's worse coming than anything you've yet seen, so we'll play nice. We'll bow. But not to you. The Inquisition will act as Divine Victoria's personal honor guard. Answering directly to her, we will transition from a military force into a peacekeeping organization. My own adventuring days may be done, but the Inquisition, and its mission, will continue. Ordering our sol-
My agents have found nothing. With the Illuvians, he could be anywhere. Maintaining the Inquisition, even as a peacekeeping force, leaves us vulnerable to agents of the Dread Wolf. But also gives us the strength to respond. <sighs> we will need to be careful. Solus knows everything about us. Who we are, how we work, our strengths, and weaknesses. Then we find people he doesn't know. We will save our friend from himself. If we can.